Hey guys, Ryan with the Driven Channel. I'm here to announce something extremely exciting for the channel. We have acquired a project car. Uh, everyone has been begging me to do a project car. I just haven't really had the money because project cars can get really, really expensive. But I came across a deal the other day that was completely not passed upable. Passed upable, if that's a word. Anyway, doesn't matter. Couldn't pass up the deal. It was extremely inexpensive. I'm not gonna say how inexpensive it was because I don't really wanna piss anybody off. And I know that that'll happen. Uh, but, uh, came across a deal, could not pass up. And uh, I would like to welcome you to the newest member of the Driven Channel family. This is Project Unicorn Volkswagen. Doesn't look like much right now. I realize we're missing a bumper and that's okay. We had to take it off of the trailer like that. But some of you might be scratching your head and wondering why I bought another car just like my son's B5.5 Passat. It's even a similar color, not quite the same shade. But I bought this car because as you can see from the previously removed badge, it has a very special engine. And some of you may know that Volkswagen made less than 5,000 Passats from 2002 through 2004 with the W8 engine. This is one of those cars, but why do I call it Project Unicorn? Well, let's show you why I call it Project Unicorn. That right there is a six-speed manual. That's right. This is a four-motion, six-speed manual W8 Passat. In 2003, 228 were built. In 2004, another 101 were built. 330 total sedans built anywhere in the United States for the U.S. market. So. Project Unicorn is here. We're going to be talking a little bit about the restoration of the car. Uh, today we're going to clean it up a little bit and I uh, think we'll put out uh, a video about some of that restoration soon. So uh, I'll walk you around the car real quick here. Previous owner uh, didn't have it for very long. I don't know if he knew quite how rare the car was, but uh, as you can see, the front bumper is actually over in my garage at my house. We're at my buddy Zane's house right now. And we're about to wash this thing up and uh, just do a couple of quick maintenance items so that we can uh, get it to where it drives. Right now, I can't drive it for very long because the uh, fans for the air conditioning and the radiator are not functioning. So I have to get a part for that to get that replaced before I can get this thing on the road. Uh, we do have to get it up in the air. We have to find out if there's anything wrong with the steering, suspension, brakes, anything along those lines that doesn't feel like there is. Uh, also, uh, we're going to find out, you know, how well everything is as far as the engine and the transmission. Uh, I drove it, you know, off the trailer up the street just a little bit, but not really very far. And uh, I can tell you that everything feels fine. Uh, it does need mostly cosmetic restoration. There's a few dents that we're going to have pulled out. Um, and we really just need to clean this thing up. Also, these wheels, believe it or not, even though they have what looks to be Golf R center caps and some blue exterior rims, are the original wheels. These are two-piece BBS Volkswagen wheels. And we'll be refinishing these. I'm not sure what color, whether I want to go with the stock silver or whether I want to go with something fun like a gold color. Um, but also we're going to be repainting the caliper because I can't have that being blue either. Uh, I believe this vehicle has had some lowering springs, as you may have uh, noticed when I walked around the back of this car earlier. It does have a Remus exhaust. Uh, it is not straight piped or anything crazy like that, but uh, stay tuned because we may be doing some content uh, so that you can hear what a W8 engine sounds like uh, straight pipes. I will, however, show you right now what it sounds like with the current exhaust, which is uh, Remus mufflers and uh, no resonators. Still actually fairly quiet, but it sounds great. So let's listen to that right now. Right. 
Hopefully you enjoyed that little tidbit. Uh, there will be much more to come. I am going to get a reaction video the first time that I actually really drive this car uh, outside of just uh, up the road uh, here in just a little bit. But that's probably going to be the next video uh, for now. Hopefully you guys are excited. I know I'm stoked. Also, just want to point out that that car right there is Jalop McFenus. So, hi Zach. Your car's in Zane's driveway, so it's going to be in some of these shots while, while we're filming. Hopefully you're okay with that. You have been before. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I uh, will see you on the next video.